Now we're gonna talk about open books. So laying on your side, like you're gonna take a nap, one arm out, now you got alligator arms, and you're gonna open your book. You are the book. You're gonna breathe in, and you're opening up this whole, spi this whole space and breathing out. <sighs> Who do I give this exercise to? Almost everyone. As you're opening, you're breathing in, you're expanding that rib cage, opening up those obliques, letting the pelvic floor relax. And then as you breathe out, you're bringing some attention to those external obliques, you're shutting down the system, you're exhaling, which is then going to lift your pelvic floor, and you're just bringing attention to all of that space. This exercise is, is perfect for anyone who has decreased thoracic mobility, um, poor posture, but especially people that have bladder urgency and frequency because they're too tight up where those nerves come out of, like right at the back of your bra strap. So breathing in and really expanding into that space and breathing out and letting all your core get help you. So progressions of this is to add weight. So I'm gonna do a three pounder and then I'm gonna do a 10. So now legs stay in this clam position. Then I'm going to open up and I'm laying flat. This feels really stretchy right here. My thoracic spine already popped again. So breathing in right now and breathing out. I usually have people, you're thinking about right here. I usually have people add a serratus push and then back down and breathing in. I always keep uh, an eye on shoulder pathology. So if someone hurts in their shoulder, then I'll maybe have them do a shorter lever arm or I'll have them do like a chicken wing. So breathing in and breathing out and just breathing, bringing all this attention to your, to your breath, to your abdomen. But the arm is the longer lever arm. It just makes it more fun. And, and then whenever you sit up, it carries over into a better arm swing when you're running, better arm swing when you're walking, better rotation putting on your seat belt um, and putting that kid in the car seat. Um, so here is the 10 pounder. I'm gonna show this way. So now facing the other way, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. I don't typically do this. I'm not opposed to it. Uh, I just feel like that's too hard. Um, and this gets the target tissue of breathing in and breathing out to where you're making your whole body, the top part of your canister of air, the whole abdomen, and then your pelvic floor is all moving as one big unit, which is what it's supposed to. You are fearfully and wonderfully made.